In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In today's Gospel, we see we have a person with what we would call today a conflicted soul. You come to the Savior, and He called Him good, good Master, understanding that He gives us all goodness, and His laws are good. And when He received the answer, it was conflicting with Him. He was conflicted because he didn't understand the warfare that was in his soul. The loves and the wants that he wanted were not the same as Christ taught him. And thus he be, he is a conflicted person. And we know that Christ is the King of Peace. And this peace that Christ brings to the world is something that the Old Testament is, Israelites didn't understand. They thought that he would bring a new kingdom on this earth to bring peace to this world. But this peace to this world is brought is from within us. Because a Christian, a person that practices the virtue, that lives a pious life, has a peaceful soul. He is not conflicted because he knows within his heart that he loves God above all else. And his brother, as much as he loves himself, his neighbor, and this reason, if we have this in our soul, if we truly live by these commandments, then we will have peace in our soul. And the peace that we have in our soul is not of this world. It is a peace that God gives to us. It is a special grace that is given by the Holy Spirit. And thus, with this peace, we enjoy joy, salvation, compassion, compunction, pious living. And this is what gives us joy in our hearts because we have peace there. And many of us are conflicted in our souls because the root of all evil, the root of the confliction of our soul always comes down to one basic law. And that is we love ourselves more than we love God. And this is what gives conflict. Because the love of ourselves, then we love those things that we love. And such as this young man that loved his riches. But it's not only riches that can take us away from the face of God take us away from His grace, this love of anything that is in place of or replaces God in our hearts. And for this reason we must be careful. And for this reason we can become conflicted because we put everything else before Him. Mm -hmm. So that's why this young man was conflicted. And yet he knew the laws and yet he didn't know the essence of the law. Because we know that the scripture and given the law unto us is for our souls, is for our goodness, is for our inheritance of eternal life. And we must understand this as the essence of the law and not the letter of the law. We see in the Old Testament the greatest example given to us by the Pharisees and the scribes who knew the law, and yet they didn't know the Savior when He came, who knew the law. And then when the Messiah came, after how many years, thousands of years they waited, and yet when He came in the flesh, they didn't recognize Him. And in fact, they went against him. And in fact, they rejected him. And in fact, they had him crucified. And he died on the cross. Because this is what it will lead if we don't understand the essence of the law. So when we have the law of Christ, and when we know the law, it's not the importance of the external part of the law, it's the internal. So that we understand that we not be conflicted, that we understand that any confliction within our heart stems from our self-love, stems from not understanding the life of the cross, taking up a cross and following Christ. This is the essence of our life, to have self-denial, to live piously, to live by the virtues, and thus we fulfill the law of Christ, and thus we become true followers of Christ, and, in, and we do inherit this holy kingdom. Amen.